This upgrade for Dagio Ledger 9.3b has a brand new feature for tying together accounting transactions belonging to particular groups of interest. Enable this optional feature in the company profile and from the Options tab with the Enable Project Tracking option. You can use different terminology than Project, changing what will appear as the field label for entry and reports. Project codes can be formatted with up to 18 characters across four named segments with separator characters. Once saved, this format cannot be changed. Projects support a separate set of optional fields used on project records, following the same functionality as in other areas. Projects are maintained from the Edit menu and Projects. Create as many project records as required, each with a unique code. For each project record, enter the code and descriptions to identify it. Projects can be made inactive to prevent using in transaction entry. If you have optional fields to find, they will display here. Project records also store formatted address fields and contact information for reference as needed. Whenever transactions using this project code are posted, amount statistics are maintained for current, prior, or next fiscal years. If you need to create or update a larger volume of project records, you can import a list of projects with all the standard validation. When editing an account, you can specify on the General tab that project tracking is available. This reveals a project tab with the remaining options. Two independent settings are available for requiring a non-blank project value on transactions and restricting the project value on transactions to fall within one or more defined ranges. If you need to update a large volume of accounts to enable and set up projects, the Import Accounts template has new fields for updating the three checkbox options. And a new Import Account Projects template is available to create and update the various ranges. When entering batch details, the project field is visible on the screen. It is only active when an account is selected that allows project tracking. If you leave the project field blank when one needs to be entered, or select a value outside the restricted range, errors will appear. In the future, you will be able to select and use projects in subledger programs in the same way on distribution details, and retrieve the information into a Dodger ledger. Reports have been created and updated to accommodate the project codes. The Chart of Accounts report has a new Projects selection to print the requirement and restricted range values for accounts that allow project tracking. A general project report lists the project master record information. Batch listing and posting journal reports print project values with details. And a project transactions report similar in nature to the Detail Listing Report, prints a selection of posted transactions across various fiscal periods or years and running balances. The Financial Reporter drill-down also supports seeing project codes on transactions. Some grids in Adagio support filters to restrict visible rows to those that meet defined criteria. Now, a new grid search control allows filtering almost every grid. To use this search, click on the grid to give it focus, then press Ctrl F on the keyboard to launch it. The screen that appears is fairly simple, with a drop down field to specify the comparison method and a field to enter the value. The column title on which the search is based is in bold font here. For date and true-false columns, available methods will be limited to those that make sense to the data types. To pick a different column to search on, 
use the control and the left or right arrow keys to move the screen to the next column over. There are also arrow buttons that do the same column selection. When the desired column and search method are selected, enter the search value. Results will immediately start to appear in this box, and a match count is also displayed. You can also backspace to remove from the search value for a broader search. If the search is too slow in loading records and you want to start again, press the escape key to cancel the process. When the search is done and at least one match was found, click the apply button to restrict the grid rows to match the search list. Notice that the column title now has the letter R to indicate that the grid is restricted by results from that column. You may perform multiple searches on the same grid by pressing Ctrl F again, up to a maximum of six nested searches. When entering another criteria for any column, including the original search column, you can search within the restricted grid to create a further focused list. You can remove the most recently applied restriction by pressing the Ctrl Z keys. When the grid screen is closed, that will remove all grid restrictions. On each grid, the column and method for the first search is remembered by user, making it easier to search in subsequent uses. Results are exclusive of any other process that selects or sorts grid rows. For this reason, when a grid search is active, specific functions will be disabled from use, such as finding records, using filters, or changing the grid sorting method. Also, the batch grid does not allow creating new batches nor print the listing report due to data structure and preventing printing unselected batches. For companies or organizations that require more than one year of future budgets for analysis and reporting, it is now possible to use the Create Next Fiscal Budgets procedure more than once, so that up to five future fiscal years can have budgets and forecasts entered into Adagio Ledger. The process is simple. Just run the function to create the next calendar year available. Attempting to create the sixth year is not possible as the menu option will be disabled. The company profile has been updated on the Options tab to allow locking budgets and forecasts for any of these future years, and also a new setting for historical years. Once the future years have been created, editing and using budget and forecast amounts are the same as with only one future year. When editing budgets or forecasts manually, the Fiscal Year drop-down field will display all of the future years. Copying budgets to forecasts or clearing budgets from the grid now gives a Fiscal Year selection for unlocked budget years. Similarly, when importing budgets or forecasts, the Fiscal Year field on the Defaults tab shows all years. Other places that allow Fiscal Year selection will only show years up to the current or immediate next year as appropriate. And when using the financial reporter, the same specification statement codes used for printing the future year values, such as minus 1b, can be expanded for the second to fifth year by changing the minus 1 prefix to the respective value. Read the complete list of features and changes from the release notes. Watch another video on this Adagio program from the playlist. Or subscribe to the Adagio YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.